Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Ravenschild. Today I want to do some more work with the jump drives, but not testing them, more building them. I need to upgrade the jump capability of this ship. Then I want to make this ship finally be able to jump and uh, maybe repair a bit of the interior. And then uh, we might start the frame of our relay ship. So I need a remote co remote controlled uh, relay ship that can do, mm, let's say it that way, I, I want it to have a good jump range, but it doesn't need to have a lot more jump range than the small ship has, uh, the small ship. <laughs> The small, the mothership. That's what I wanted to say. Not the small ship. Has to do with the fact that this is the main ship. If this ship cannot jump the distance, then uh, everything else, uh, yeah, will not be able to jump there anyways. Because both this ship and the drill ship have jump ranges a lot higher than this one, and. Uh, the drones we will i want to still keep them to to be able to test things these ships the small ones we will just get rid of this is just a ship to be able to start other ships and we have somewhere i have a sensor ship there that that doesn't matter so uh, every ship will have at least a higher jump range than the mothership uh, everything below that is not worth having so everything needs to be upgraded at least to be able to to out jump the 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 main mothership um this the main mothership basically is the ship that that uh, is the <laughs> it's so hard to yeah is is the the gives us the 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 main jump range so Everything else needs to be at least as high or above that, so that um, that we can jump with um, with the whole group and don't have to reduce the jump range to anything below this ship. I would say. Okay, let us see. We have a room full of jump drives, and uh, you. By the way, you can see that the the game at the moment is still uh, a bit. <laughs> more lesses esque <laughs> it is it is slowing down and that again at one point it will hopefully get better but first we will have to live with this um our room full of jump drives jump drives will just not get bigger but i know that i have uh, a bit more space to add some more here are the jump drives and I think I will will at least double the amount. One, two, three, eight, nine. So eighteen jump drives in the end. That will be what we want to have. Um, let me get that on uh, the screen. Uh, where are the jump drives? Jump, 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 jump. Okay, and we are two blocks away from the. Oh, okay, it's it's laying flat. Two blocks, yes, two blocks, and we'll do it as with the other. I hope I had have at least enough materials to to finish the jump drives. That that might be a bit of a problem. And as long as this is still building the drives, we will work on the other ship and again integrate a jump drive there too. The 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 ship that I found there is <clears throat> is it is no priority, but on the other hand, it's another big ship that we can integrate into the fleet. It has no role at the moment, so maybe we need to. We need to give it a roll at one point. 
transport for valuable items or so because the amount of weapons is uh, it's it's not at least when it comes to heavy weapons it's, it's not underperforming <laughs> these these things on the side i thought it looked looks cool that's that's why i wanted to have it maybe some point defense weapons uh, we we could put some on the top here and um, maybe some on the bottom we will see how that how that works out um, the first thing I want to do is um, I decided that the jump drive will be here in the back right above the above the reactor and then from here we build up again maybe maybe I should bring it a bit more to the front so on the other hand if we have it here on the back we can put some blocks around it that is maybe a bit better mm, it will have a, an open jump drive not hidden under armor or something like that uh, there's not a lot of space on this ship um, it could be that the the main frame of this ship came out when there were um, there were no no jump drives. Um, I, the in, the indicator for this is always you can see that it has the the normal doors on here, and most people switched to the switch to the how's it called the 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 sliding door. At one point, when it came out, when it came out, because you could fly through these a lot easier, and um, it could be that this is a really old design, and that the only thing that maybe changed is at one point the guns. And I'm not even sure if I don't know if the guy that makes the the all the mods that spawn in ships maybe has worked on this it could be the i haven't looked up uh, looked this ship up on the on the yeah on the workshop it could be that there is a good that there is a version of this and uh, maybe maybe i will do that in a in a second just to see if this is an old design um for, to me it seems to be one um and maybe then at one point uh, some some things got replaced like the the big guns in the front they, they, it could be that these were the normal rocket pods before and that maybe some uh, some missile turrets were here on the side I'm, I'm not sure I will look I will look that up okay this needs to be closed then we will go with the other blue let us just um we can just go with the blue that's not completely right for that but um maybe i will remove these these things and replace these with the the two block slopes that could be that could be better <laughs> i'm struggling right now i i just ate and <laughs> it's something uh i had a fizzy drink and now <laughs> i'm struggling not to burp into the microphone <laughs> like crazy you you might hear that Today I got a comment by uh, by someone I, I I've never seen in the comments. Um, I don't know the name out of my head right now, but um, that I need to learn more English. And man, people, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get better with the English. At one point, um, you, you have to forgive me. This is not my my normal language. So, 
It could be that sometimes I need to search for words. You will have to forgive me with that. Uh, okay, we'll close this with a normal... Okay, we will... Oh, I know. We will close that with a half block. And then put this one in here. Down below we have the same, but here we will go with the slopes to close it off. You can see by the the, the way these these things, the blocks turn at the moment, that the, the simulation speed is still struggling. And I, I cannot, I can say why, because I have a lot of stuff flying around, but um, it might be that I also have to do a bit of cleanup, get rid of things flying around. We have trading posts and stuff spawning and not despawning. So um, maybe I will have to clean up a bit. Okay, this works out. See the, the what is what is missing? Superconductors, yeah, gold and silver. I hope it's not silicon because I'm still missing, missing out on silicon. Uh, let me let me see. Um, there's the mothership production superconductors are gold and iron. That, that should be okay. I, I've farmed a lot of gold, so it's just a matter of producing the producing the things. Um, another thing I will have to do, maybe we will try that out today, is uh, Izzy's uh, inventory manager. The, um, I'm running into more and more problems with Tim and I have the feeling I might have to switch to the the easy one. So that's also a thing we could do today. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. It gives it at least a bit protection from the side with a bit of armor. Why is this not coming in. Is the the things should reach to here, so it shouldn't be problematic. That why is it not? Uh, I hope I'm not running out of 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 anything. The 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 again the the inventory managers make problems or Tim at least is a bit problematic for me it sometimes doesn't produce things but here it could just be a range thing with uh, uh, with the built and repair system good I want to have a large cargo container in the middle and we might want to make it yellow, although our yellow still doesn't fit perfectly. And now with this, I have a con can make a connection to the top and then have point defense on here. Um, I could have another connection to the top. I'm not sure what this was. Um, under a cover in the front, there is the gravity generator. Is there anything else that should be in here? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just for conveyors. So that's what we could do. Um, have some conveyors lead up to the lead up to the container. Um, conveyors. Okay, this is wrong. And have another conveyor block here, and then we could have some lead to the top so that we have maybe another connection. On the bottom, we have. Let me take a look also. A way to connect that. There's one in the front, and then we could use one in the back here to have. Uh, two of the point defense weapons on the top and on the bottom. That is maybe a thing we can do. Okay, these are 
relatively close to each other. Maybe that's not the best idea. Uh, the problem is, do I have another way to connect the top up? Not really. Not really. I could come from here, remove this, and then maybe have a connection here. Uh, that might be far to the front. No, that's not good. I I might open up the 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 top and then see see what's below this all. Okay, these are the normal interior walls. Okay, that's the. Oh, it fits. We could put it here. Okay, I thought that would be that would not fit in here, but I think we can do this. Open this up, put a conveyor here, maybe another conveyor block here in the middle, make connections. And what's that? That's oxygen. And these are O2 generators. Okay. Is there an air vent somewhere here? No. Oh, I know what. Mm, okay, I know what we what we will put here. If if there is no air vent, we can put one in and use instead of this conveyor block, we will use one of the one of the air vent blocks, and we could do that in here too. But yeah, this is this doesn't need to be doesn't need to be climatized and this is just the reactor room so let's just close this and then uh, maybe put a conveyor block up here a conveyor block here and then remove this one again and have one of the air vents in here. Air. Uh, I have these uh, conveyor air vents. These are a lot nicer than the normal air vents because they don't stick out so much and uh, fill a, a really nice roll. Okay, remove that, please. Okay, That's, I shouldn't use the. I shouldn't fly around in here. That's. <laughs> it's. It's not spacious enough for that. Okay, that is coming nicely. The problem is, yeah, there is now, it still has to produce, I don't know, nine other or eight other um, jump drives. And so maybe I will just give it a bit, a bit more time um, to see what the jump range of this ship then will be and see how much jump range this ship will have. Um, that's a thing I definitely want to know. The relay ship. The relay ship, one thing it needs, it not only needs a jump range that is higher than the jump range of this ship, it also needs a lot of power because um, we can take a look at the, at the laser antennas. Uh, let us just sit down for a second. The laser antennas have the problem that if they are set to a certain range, laser antenna, and we go for this one. So this is set to 2100 uh, kilometers. At this range, it would use 111 megawatts of power just to um, to reach back to to where it needs to to reach. Um, if we go for I don't know four hundred. Uh, why doesn't it change? Please change the range. 
Oh, it needs only 500. 5.88 megawatts. Maybe it doesn't need so much power. I thought it would need a lot more power. A small jump drive? Oh, we have to figure this out. I have a small jump drive mod installed. And if we use a small ship as the relay ship, then we could save up on blocks and save up on stuff. Because 5.88 megawatts is not a lot. A big small reactor can produce that. And building two big, big small reactors. Is it small big reactors? Or is it big small reactors? <laughs> it is small big reactors. Or uh, would, would be maybe a bit nicer. Hmm. Or go go all out. Um, if we see how much jump range this ship here can achieve. Ah hmm. oh, man, that <laughs> I should I should test all the stuff I'm doing before I'm doing it, because it 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 now yeah now I. I'm not sure if I should just build a small ship that can can work as a relay drone because the small ship can have a laser antenna anyways and can can work as that that too. So maybe what is going on with the oh okay I know I know what I changed the built-in repair system to um, to not uh, to grind before it to weld before it grinds. And so it it waited for everything else to be to be done. That's why it didn't remove that thing. Okay, this works out. Okay, maybe I will wait a bit until the jump drives are done and then we can take a look at the jump ranges that we can achieve and all this stuff. Good, let us wait a bit. So all the jump drives are loaded now and I have to take a look. Oh. That's not a lot, <laughs> 290 kilometers. It's a heavy ship and it might even lose a bit more when it comes to jumping with a lot of small ships attached. It could be that it then even loses more of its range now with 18 jump drives uh, or maybe i have to one thing we should test and that's one thing i brought the small ship here because i wanted to see if i have uh if i have a small jump drive and i don't i think i decided against the small jump drive that's that's one thing <laughs> No, I'm. I I think I decided against the small jump drive at one point just because I wanted to give a reason, basically for big ships. So big ships or a mothership to to have a way to transport the all the all the small ships around. So that's might be why I didn't why I didn't include. Uh, a small jump drive. Uh, I think I decided against that. Uh, by the way, you can see that I have uh, repaired this ship a bit more. I've added the guns and I changed the colored blocks. And I have to say, I might have to do some some work and the color with this one again. This one is so bright. And I think this blue is a lot better than this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> I will have to take a look at that if I want to do the work. So you can see CIWS uh, turrets. They are set to only uh, attack missiles and characters and asteroids or meteorites. And uh, one thing we should test is if it counts these blocks 
2 and so maybe we should disconnect the ship from the asteroid and fly uh, yeah we just need to disconnect and maybe fly a bit backwards to to not have this connected oh yeah we can we can do the work from here I would say okay let us take a look if it now is more 291 hmm that's not a lot that's not a lot so our jumps to we will do some more jumps to the <laughs> to the alien world I would say that uh, that seems to be our fate <laughs> but I think that's okay we we again the the by the way I took a look before I moved the 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 boxer out of the way the, the the boxer ship has a jump range of 2000 kilometers so the boxer could basically jump from here back to the the asteroid base in two jumps um with a few minutes of wait in between so hmm that's that's something yeah that's something we might have to look into a bit more if we want to have more jump drives and um or if we just go with the 200 kilometers and then make jumps 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 um it is more realistic and it doesn't take so much time because one thing is that uh, between every jump we have six or seven minutes of wait. In these seven minutes our reactors on the ship get strained a bit because yeah, 19, 18 jump drives, it's not so bad. It's um, times three every jump drive I think loads with three megawatts or something like that we, we should take a look at that um, or does it hold three megawatts it holds a certain amount of oh maximum re required input is 32 megawatts so that could strain our energy systems a bit but uh, we will have to live with that I would say People, I think Izzy's, um, Izzy's uh, cargo manager or inventory manager will have to wait a bit. I think I will end the episode here. I need, yeah, it's clear now that we have to make a big ship that, that can do the jumps, uh, that can work as a relay ship. It needs it doesn't need so much power then because if we only have a jump drive for, of around 250 kilometers then the the laser antennas don't take so much power so we could go with just one reactor and see how how big we if this boxer ship has a jump range of 2000 kilometers then anything remote controlled that we can build that is smaller and doesn't need so many thrusters and 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 and, and will uh, will end up having enough power with one reactor i would say let us take a look at the laser antennas for a second just to see 250 oh that's meters Oh, that was meters. So it could be 200, 200, it's 250,000. Okay, that could end up be a bit more. No, it's not more. At that range, 2.56 megawatts. That's nothing. Okay, we can, we can absolutely live with that, I would say. Yeah, people. So um, suggestions for a relay ship. We I have found uh, a laser antenna script that I want to test on it, um, and we need the follow script on it. We need um, yeah the jump 
drive, we need a reactor. I will have to see how I built that. Hmm. <laughs> Good people. I think that's all for today. Hope you liked the episode with a bit, a bit of building, a bit of discussing the new ship that we want to build and repairing this one. And uh, <laughs> hope you liked it. Uh, yeah, if you did, then please leave a like on the video and I hope to see you in uh, the next one. See ya, guys.